Today, we're gonna be designing my dream bedroom in 3D. Previously, I did my dream office and my dream kitchen, and I just thought bedroom was next for this series. Throughout this series, I've really noticed an improvement of my like 3D skills, so I'm really excited today to see what I come up with for the bedroom. With that said, I do not have a plan. I haven't had a plan for any of these rooms and I think they've all turned out really well. So I just really want round windows because I love round windows. So I want to place some round windows in there and maybe a round window that you can like sit in. I want like a floating bed and I definitely want my little frog to like feature in there. And that's kind of all the plan I have for today. But I am really excited for this video and to see what we create. So let's just jump straight into a blender. So the first thing I always do is just go in and delete everything, delete everything, delete everything. And then I just literally bring back that cube that I just deleted because he is going to be our isometric room. So we definitely need him. So I really wanted to do beams on this room because we haven't actually played with like the roof at all in any of the other two builds. So I wanted to do beams on like a 45 degree slant and then some up the top as well. And I just thought they look so good. So next it was time to go in and make these round windows. And I wanted a round window on each of the sides of the room. And because I'd already done it for the uh, kitchen, I knew how to do these. I knew to subdivide first and it definitely only took me like 15 minutes instead of 45 minutes this time. So really happy with the improvement there. So now I went in to start doing the bed and I started with my good old cube and then just uh, scaled it out and across so that we had more of a rectangle shape. And then I just started playing with the idea of how to do the duvet. So this took me a couple of goes to get. I was extruding out those uh, vertices and then realized that the the duvet just didn't look good. Um, so it took me a long time to get this right. I moved on here, but I do redo it later, don't you worry. Uh, here I'm just making the pillows and I wanted them to look quite plumptuous and a little bit rounded at the edges. Uh, and then I played with how I wanted the position to be. So whether I wanted them to be angled or whether I wanted them to be flat on the bed. And because there's a window there, I decided that I did want them to be flat on the bed. So I do change that round. Uh, here I am playing with blanket again, because uh, honestly it was just frustrating me at this point. I, it was just such a Simple thing and I just didn't know why I wasn't able to get it right honestly the first time um, but it took me maybe like 10 goes and I do look at it look at it she looks good I'm very happy with that so next I went in to make the side tables and I really wanted them to be like put on the wall so they didn't like have any feet or anything because I just thought them coming out of the wall would be very cute. Um, so I'm just using the mirror modifier there to get the little side tables looking the same on both sides. Um, and I really, really like this design. And then I use the array modifier to pull it over to the other side. Next I went in to start making the bed base, but actually it's something to sit in and I do elevate it off the ground at the end. Um, but I thought it looked very good. I also gave it a little bit of a headboard and I changed around those pillows because it was annoying me that they were on an angle. Next I went in and made a little rug, uh, which I definitely make cuter later. And then I thought I would make some little lamps. So here I was just using a new technique with the wood. I was really inspired by the roof for this. Uh, so I just angled up that wood at a 45 degree angle and then you see a ray modifier around an object to give it the cutest little base I've ever seen in my life. I love this lamp. I really wish I had it in my own room. Then I went in to make another little lamp. Um, and this one was inspired by like the mushroom lamp that are out at the moment they're just so cute and I really really love how the hat turned out of this lamp. And I went in to make the like light shade so I just really wanted it to be coming off one of the beams and here I am just making it out of a circle extruding out those vertices and scaling them to just make this a beautiful light and I am really in love with it. I did toil with the idea of like multiplying them around but I decided to just stick with one. This is me making a little plant pod because I really really wanted a plant in the corner of the room. So then I went in to make some very cute cushions and this is I think my first time making cushions like this and I it just uh, duplicated the edges out so I could also do some like nice lining of the cushions so I just made them feel a little bit more 3D. Here I went in to make the plant and I just used a curve to do this and I put it in the little plant pot and then I went in to make the little leaf. I feel like I'm getting good at the leaves now which is very exciting because I was a little trash a few months ago um, but then I just duplicated that 
that leaf around and used the snap tool to snap it to the little plant and I was thinking this might be like a little fig tree um, and I really like the vibe of it. Then I went in to make some books. I've made books quite a few times now so I know how to do this quite quickly and then I put it on the bedside tables. Now is the ultra fun part where I go in and I texturize everything so I'm giving those windows a nice wood look um, and I also forgot that I didn't add in the flooring so here I am adding in the little wood flooring um, and just using the array modifier just to get them looking really good. Then I went in back to texturize everything, texturize the wood as well, gave the floorboards a lighter wood look. Um, I just thought that was really nice and then I gave the windows and the beams the same wood texture because I just thought it looked very very good. Gave the walls a very nice blue color and then went in and did the dirt for the plants. Here I am just texturizing uh, just literally everything, giving like everything all of the colors that I could ever dream of and I just love it. All right, let's do a tour of what it looks like in Blender and then I will show you what it looks like rendered. So here we are, here is the room. I can just do a spin, nice. So a lot of improvements I have seen from like the first like dream office video to the second dream kitchen video. Like it just, I don't know, to me, it's just, it, it's more lively. It's really come to life. Uh, so let me just show you what it looks like with the textures on it so we can get a good look. I'm excited, I don't even know where to start. So um, let's start with the beaming. This is the first time I've done any type of like beaming or like roofs or anything like that. So I think it turned out really nice and I think it really gave a new dimension to the isometric room. I went in and did this like nice little metallic blue light as well, which has a little light bulb in it, which has an emitter on it. So it's projecting a light. And I also decided to put a little plant up here in the corner um, just to give it a little bit more dimension. Yeah, it was a little naked, but before. So I wanted to give it a little bit more. I did these round windows in the dream kitchen video and I really struggled with them so today I found it a lot easier because I actually remembered how to do them. So I did two of them today to celebrate. Um, so this one is like a little bay window which you can like sleep in which is very cute and I made these very nice little cushions as well. I just it's so pretty I really really like this and the windows also have like a nice little wooden texture to them if you can see that. So I really like that. I did this beautiful little plant in like a marble pot on a little stand and then I also just put like a little fig plant in there. We'll call it a fig. Um, this is the second round window just above the bed and I really like it. I think it is very cute. I did some photo frames. I haven't yet put anything in them and I don't know if I will but that's okay. I really like them. I did this beautiful lamp which I am in love with and he has a little light bulb in there as well so he is emitting some light and I did this little plant on the side table. There's a little cup hiding behind there because I always have a cup on my side table so it was just very fitting. Um, and then a little book as well. So that is that corner and then this little corner has this beautiful lamp. Uh, just beautiful. I made that. It's beautiful. And then two little books as well. This is maybe one of my favorite parts is like this beautiful bed. It is off the like ground which I really like and I really wanted to put lights under it but I just couldn't work out how to make them look good. So there are no lights there currently. Um, but I chose this purple checkered bedspread and then made some like matching pillows as well and then just made second pillows because you need more than one set of pillows on your bed. I made the sheets like a nice blue and then I made the bed like this kind of like spotty texture 
um, just because I thought it brought it to life a little bit more. I did a nice really royal blue rug with some texture on it as well and that's just sitting on these beautiful wooden floors. Um, I'm in love. So I really really love how this dream bedroom came out. It is so peaceful and lovely. This is what it's looking like rendered. Wow! But it's so good and I just... Uh, I'm so happy with it. So let me know which room you'd like me to do next. I know a lot of people have been requesting the lounge, so that may or may not be in the works. I really appreciate you watching this video and I can't wait to see which room we design next. So that is today's dream room done. I really am so happy with it and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will now see you in the next video.